Hello everyone and welcome to our little tutorial on the painting. Um, each of you should have received, and if you haven't yet, I'm so, I'll get it to you, um, received a bucket and in the bucket you should have everything that you need. There's a canvas, a paint tray, two brushes, and then in the bottom are your four colors of paint, white, black, red and yellow so what you're gonna do and you can watch this video at any time and start it and stop it is find a place that mom and dad say that it's okay to paint and then if you need to cover the surface um, go ahead and cover it we're doing it on the island when Rick's not here so so then you can you'll have to just take out everything get it ready and this is what we are painting just on a little smaller scale so we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to do that and um, like I said you can stop and go as you need to and because there's going to be some steps where we have to let it dry and so you can come back and visit it and finish it up and then send a picture we'd love to see them so slide that back. oh and you're going to need a cup of water and a paper towel to dry off your brushes between. So what we found is what I would start with, you can put your paint either in your trays um, so that it's easier to mix or you can use them right in the container. What we're gonna do is we're going to paint a white layer completely over the canvas and even doing the sides. This is going to help um, when you mix the colors to make the sunset and kind of just finish it off. So you're gonna use your foam, roll, foam brush and just brush it all over and just get a nice coat of paint on the canvas. So if it's easier, you can lay it down. Otherwise, you can hold it to whatever is more comfortable for you. I think JJ's trying to not get paint everywhere, but it may not work. She may be covered in a paint. So that'll get you more paper towel. You can use newspapers, paper towels, cardboard, or anything that mom or dad say is okay to get some paint on. Okay, then once you have the canvas completely covered in white, we are going to, we're gonna do the sunset like this one. And so it's yellow on the top. So you can either do that from the bottom and then work up with the yellow. So or is it sure with the yellow then you mix the two colors? Yeah. Start with the yellow maybe? So JJ, it doesn't really matter if you start with the red or the yellow because you're gonna be mixing the colors. Because what colors? You're going to have yellow and red as your two opposite colors. And then what does red and yellow make? That's going to give us our orange layer in the middle. And whether you start with the yellow or the red, you also want to go on the top and on the sides of the canvas, just so it gives it a finished edge. And you're going to go down to the middle with the yellow because then what's going to happen is when you do the red from the bottom then you're going to be able to mix those two colors and create that so that's why we didn't give you orange okay. are you rinsing the brush or are you gonna rinse out the red the do you have to no you shouldn't have to because it's okay so now jocelyn's going to grab the red as long as you get a lot as long as you get enough of the paint, the red on the brush, it shouldn't matter because then it's going to make it a nice dark red bring it up to the and bring it up to the middle. And then again, you're going to go around the sides and this doesn't have to be the perfect red color because it's going to, you can just keep mixing it and you can go back and if you think there's spots where it needs more yellow, you can add yellow. If you think it needs more red, you can do that too. 
You just don't want to get it like super, super, super thick on your, your canvas because then it won't dry. It'll take a little while to dry. And you can always touch it up after too a little bit if you need to with the yellows and stuff like that. And then once you have, you can play around with whatever color you want. If you want more, um, you can always go back with a little bit of orange or if you want to go back in with a little bit of the white to bring it down, you can do that too. But then once you're done, we're going to let it dry. So we're going to just take a pause. So you need to let this then dry completely before our next step. So we're just going to pause it here and come back. So you can just set it down on your surface and let it dry. You can use a hair dryer if you want, just don't get super close or just let it dry as long as you didn't do a super thick coat, it shouldn't take that long to dry. Okay, and then once the painting is dry, you're gonna take a pencil and we're going to draw the hill, okay? So you can take the pencil on the red side and just kind of draw it out through the pencil. You can also use a Sharpie, just be careful because you know Sharpies do stain things, so just be careful of what kind of surface you're on. Um, and then you're going to draw the three crosses, and as you can see, the middle one is substantially taller, and then you have the two to the side. So if you just trace the line. Yep, so Jada is just going to, just so you guys can see it, is going to trace the hill using um, a sharpie just so that when she goes to paint it she has a good outline of it. So you can kind of show how it you can kind of see that and then this you'll fill in with the black paint and then she's going to draw three crosses. three crosses. And the same thing you can use a pencil and you can start with a pencil and then trace it with a um, black permanent and then fill it in with black paint too. It doesn't have to be, and remember way back when Jesus was being hung on the cross, they didn't have a Menards, they didn't have a Home Depot or a local lumber yard. So their crosses, this, the boards were not necessarily perfect. That's, so don't worry about that. Um, the, the cross in itself, um, as you can see, it's just by itself, it's just beautiful. And it, it does not have to be perfect. Oh, and I just saw JJ's pizza for lunch. <laughs> I don't know. We're recording right now. Um, apparently, our garage door is open. Probably some cats in there. So JJ, once you get the three crosses then, then you can go in with your black paint and your small brush. There you, you see she has the three crosses and the hill. And then using your little paint brush and the black, you're gonna fill that all in. And if you want to on the bottom, you can also paint the bottom black just to finish it off. So just take, Take your time, go along the edge, and then fill it in. When you go along with the brush along the edges, it's gonna make it easier to fill it in. So, then you're just gonna go ahead and paint the hill, side, and the crosses. And you can also, if you're, now the cross, um, you can probably, if you want to try, you can even, if you go really slow, you could probably use um, a foam brush. Since it's got a straight edge, it would probably work too. It just depends on the size of your crosses. If, it's, if um, they're a little smaller, then this might be a little big, but... Either way, and then just go ahead and paint those. Oh, 
Sorry. JJ likes to take her time when she paints, which is fine. And then, like I told you before, like if you're a morning person, then you might want to put. Oops, I keep coming here, pizza. Um, you might want to put it in like an east window. Um, here I put it in our southwest windows, and the sun when it hits it. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Um, it's very. It lights up the whole picture. And with those black crosses, it, it really is a good reminder of the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. And I honestly leave mine up year round because out the windows that you can see over here, where are they, right there, I don't have curtains and the sun sets and then I see the crosses and it's a good reminder every day. So, how's it going, Jocelyn? I'm slow. See, she's getting her heel painted. And it is no rush, boys and girls. You can take your time. You can stop, come back. Just make sure if you stop that you rinse out your brushes so that they don't get dried out and crusty because then it's a little harder to paint. But now she just has to paint the crosses. So we'll let you keep working on those crosses and we'll let JJ finish here just so I don't have a really long video to try to upload. Um, so you just take your time and you then do all three crosses. All right, did you get your crosses painted and your hillside? So Jocelyn got hers all painted and so now you just want to let it dry. And once it's completely dry, like I said, you can hang it in any window, set it on the ledge, is what we usually do. Um, anywhere where the sun shines from now, of course, the sun's going to shine on the wrong side of the house. But it looks really pretty, boys and girls, and so I can't wait to see them. So if you're able to, take a picture and email it to me so I can see your finished product. I'd love to see it. And like I said, you can keep this video as a reference and you can finish it out. We hope you had fun and we hope you have a fabulous Easter and remember that all that Jesus did for us so that we can live. So we miss you and we hope you have a great weekend. Bye.